Hello. Today at, uh, and this is Tuesday, uh, April 7th, 2020, and um, today there is a full moon. The full moon is at uh, almost 19 degrees Libra, opposite the sun at almost 19 degrees Aries. And here in California, it is at 7.35 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. So a full moon is when the moon is opposite the sun. So oppositions always bring some degree of awareness. Um, they don't necessarily, often they bring awarenesses of, awareness of, of a problematic, of some sort of situation, usually a situation that has a, some stress involved in it. It doesn't necessarily bring solutions, but it brings awareness, which is almost more important than getting a solution. Um, that is particularly to the point on this full moon when we have um, two kind of strong challenging aspects, one of them involving the sun and the moon with two other planets, Pluto and Jupiter, and one of them involving our friend the disruptor Uranus in Taurus, which is making a challenging aspect to Saturn and Mars, which are in Aquarius. So what does all this mean? Well, it could sort of be summed up with Obstacles are part of the path. Obstacles, so the full moon neither brings obstacles nor does it solve obstacles. Uh, but the real gift is that it brings awareness of obstacles. You may think that this is not a big gift, but see if this sounds familiar. Metaphorically speaking, imagine that you are making your way through a dark, crowded, cluttered passageway and you get to, you get to uh, at some point you encounter a block, a wall, a door that won't open, but you know the passageway continues beyond that. So you start wailing away at this block with whatever you have uh, available. Probably that means your head. <laughs> You're banging your head against this wall, metaphorically speaking. This isn't making a difference. It isn't helping. Maybe you make a few dents in the wall, but really nothing is changing. You're just getting angrier and angrier and perhaps somewhat depressed and discouraged and thinking poorly about yourself. But you're determined not to be a quitter. So you keep banging your head against that wall, sure that, the, that you are going to change this, that you're going to move that wall. You're going to break through it or something. You just can't make your, let yourself stop. We all need that moment of grace, that tap on the shoulder that says, you know, look, there's a wall here. <laughs> Your head isn't really going to work. That forces us, even though we want to keep banging away at it, to step back and to recognize that we are encountering an obstacle that can't be pushed through. And some obstacles can't be pushed through. That doesn't mean that there's no way to deal with them. That means that the way that we are trying to deal with them is not going to be effective. That's the gift of this full moon. The awareness around obstacles and from that perspective of awareness, the ability to step back and consider what the best way to approach this obstacle would be. I mean, this is important enough that in the Yoga Sutras in book one, uh, there's like two sutras that have to deal with the obstacles on the path. When we encounter obstacles, it's our tendency to think that there's something wrong with us, that somehow we're failing. When in fact, they really are just, they are part of the path. So there's the sutra. Here's my painting for that sutra that, that lists all the obstacles. Here they list disease, apathy, doubt, negligence, lethargy, lack of detachment from worldly pleasures, sensuality, confusion, uh, failure to attain groundedness, backsliding, or the inability to maintain a ground. These are the obstacles. And then not only are there the obstacles, but there's things like anxiety, pain, depression, and um, shortness of breath, uh, nervousness, that indicate that you are encountering an obstacle. So if you're feeling any of those things, you're encountering an obstacle, and it's um, sometimes there are forces beyond our control that um, that we just have to deal with some other way besides trying to powerhouse our way through it. Um, the uh, the full moon is in, as I said, is in Libra, which is the sign of partnership. 
and it's opposite the sun, Aries, which in Aries, which is the kind of me first guy. So there are definitely some messages here that have to do with our relationships with others, especially if we're experiencing those as being part of the obstacles. Um, we, the, the, and the nature of the other obstacles with Uranus in, in Taurus is such that this is a very unpredictable period of time. And um, salute, we can, there's also with the Mars conjunct Saturn, there's a kind of one foot on the gas, one foot on the brake pedal kind of dynamic where it can be very difficult to figure out how to break through um, personal and interpersonal blockages that we encounter. Uh, but, you know, the good news is that it's unpredictable and the bad news is that it's unpredictable. So you just kind of have to go with it and be flexible and creative and neither be too pushy about your own agenda nor let yourself be overrun by the uh, neediness masquerading as reason of another person's agenda. And you'll be aware of your own neediness masquerading as reason because... The other message is that, like, you know, ultimately, it's always, it's always up to you. You know, the, the, the Dalai Lama has the famous quote that um, anger is like drinking po poison and expecting the other person to die. I mean, there are always situations that we encounter that, uh, where we feel that our anger is justified. And this is not to say that, there's, that that's, you know, n never right. But unless we can approach dealing with that anger from a position of love, which, you know, I'm still working on, but unless we can do that, the, the anger is going to work like poison. We, we have to be able to step back a bit from our own sense of uh, having been wronged by something or someone and, um, and find a different approach to dealing with the situation. That too is something that the full moon brings awareness of. So again, the full, th this is not a, oh, here's the easy solution uh, kind of full moon. This is more one where we are encouraged to take a step back from that which is blocking us and from our um, futile attempts to um, bang our way through something that can't be dealt with that way in order to maybe not come up with a solution, but to see the situation slightly differently. And um, bear in mind that the truth is always simple. So if things are seeming like really complicated and difficult, chances are you are losing sight of the truth, you know, which ultimately is that um, we're alive for a very short period of time and most of what we worry about and spend our time thinking about, most of that turns out not to matter. So what is it that really, really does matter right now? That's what the full moon encourages you to ask yourself. All right, well, the next new moon in two weeks is Boy, there's some really interesting aspects around that one. So I remember once uh, a friend asking me when I was looking at her chart, when does the break come? And I was like, well, this is the break. So there you go. This is kind of that time too. If you're asking yourself, when does the break come? This is the break. Because uh, the next new moon is, there is definitely some activity going on there. So... I will talk to you soon, and I hope that you are doing very well in, these, in this time when it is very easy to be feeling frustrated and confused and as if you should somehow be doing better than you are, when really, you shouldn't. You're doing fine. All right, talk to you later. Bye.